Hey, Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com and wingboarding.com. And, well, you know, it's going to become the traveling season soon. And I got to tell you, this is the top-notch bag from DeKine. This is their wing travel wagon is what they call it. We've been waiting to get these in here. Um, but here you go. These come in two sizes, a 5'4", 5'8". It's got uh, two colors to it. But I got to tell you, they did a great job um, of really building it out, getting a, <clears throat> a really good quality type bag. So if you're going to travel with your wing stuff, this is the way to do it. Now, I want to show you what I've got. So it's got wheels on it, so it stays stiff. You can see that. It's got a tag on the back here. So if it does get lost or whatever, you got your name in there. But I want to show you what you can put in here and the possibilities. So there's a lot of room. It's got the wraparound straps here that buckle in, like a Fastex buckle. Then you've got the heavy-duty zipper. It goes all the way around. Once you get this open, there's some room in the top here. So as this goes down, it's not just the thickness of where your zipper is. It also goes up to the top. So once I open it up on the lid, it's got a little pocket in here, zipper pocket for like tarpaulin. So you can put a wetsuit in there. Let's say if it's slightly wet, that would pretty much keep some of that moisture out. So it's got that little pocket right up inside of there. On the inside, I stuffed in here. Here's two wings inside of here. If I really worked at it, I can easily get two, three, maybe even four wings in here. Uh, these are not packed down real tight. This is a six meter and a four meter. So you can see there's some extra room. So let me talk about a little bit of the inside. The inside's pretty cool because what they've done is they've designed, first you got your hold down straps that go across everything. So whatever's in here, you can get it individually strapped down. Um, then you've got these thick foam boards and there's hardboard in here too. The hardboard is to separate the hard stuff like here's a wing on top of it, carbon, so that's not going to dig down into your board. This is a good solid two of them, solid boards inside and they're attached so you won't lose them. But you can see that these are elastic and you can basically strap down whatever you want in your wings if things have covers. You can see you can easily just integrate them into here. Very simple and keep it solid. So once your wings are out, you can put multiples in there as you can tell. This is just uh, to show you, this is a mask that we've got with a base that's non-removable. If your base is removable, this is very simple. You pop it off, everything straps down inside of here. You put your base down, maybe at the end of the bag down here, between out of the way. And there's plenty of room to put those parts and pieces in here. So now that you have that, this, what I've got in here, is a 5198 liter. So that kind of shows you this is the 54. And it's a good snug fit. There is a little bit of room down here at the end, a few inches. Um, if I go to travel like this, the tail has a hard plastic on it where the wheels are attached. But up at the nose, I'm always wanting to put something extra at the nose for sure. It's either a uh, a uh, big old piece of thick cardboard or it's a pool noodle or whatever you want make sure it's solid to protect it so here are those uh, flaps that go over and again these are hard this is not a just a standard soft foam where something could punch through it it's not going to punch through it they separated that so inside here again i've got the a 98 liter 5.1 there's a little bit of room in there. Make sure to just give it, if you're gonna pay for these bags to travel with them, get the extra room, add your padding, add everything you want inside of here to get that traveling. Now, once the board is out, you can see the bag. It's got heavy duty pad tarp tarpaulin on the inside and it's got a uh, the Dacron outside, a really nice rip stop. Just a very high quality built bag for wing traveling. Really excited about them. I think this is something that's gonna be starting to happen. I've always been looking around. What is the nicest bag out there to travel? Yes, they're expensive, but I think it's well worth it when you come into a rig like this and you've got $3,000 plus inside of your bag. You wanna make sure to get a really nice bag for traveling. Anyway, that is the Dekine wingboard bag, wing travel bag from Dekine. It's a great setup. If you have any questions about fitting your board or whatever that is, don't hesitate to give us a call here. That's Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com and wingboarding.com to keep you traveling and having some fun. Hey guys, Jeff here again. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. It really helps us out in making these videos. Have a great day.